I've traveled around the country, you talk about the Victoria Mansion in Portland, Maine, and people always say, I've been there, or I've read about it, or I've heard about it, because it's one of the very few museums of this quality in the country. Well, it's always special here at the mansion. Uh, it's been a part of our family for the last 18 years. So not being here this year and decorating certainly has left a, a hole in our Christmas season. Christmas at the mansion is special. It's magical. It takes something that is iconic in our community. It lifts it up. It opens it up. We bring it to modern technology, but yet we keep it in a Victorian era look and theme. So it's make, taking something new, something old, mix them together so they merge so it's something that that's, gives history to our community but it also brings in the younger people and other people to come in and just enjoy what, what this community has to offer. The first year we did the stair hall, we did a, did a huge winter chandelier that hung up over the staircase, but it was so big that we had to, we had big ladders down here that was suspended between, but then we had to hoist it up there but we had to get it over these, past these two statues, but not hit the gasolier. It was challenging. They had ropes on the third floor, and we got it up, and then they just hoisted it up and secured it up onto the third floor. My favorite part of the mansion is the entrance. It's really, it's the heartbeat to the, to the mansion. When you come through those doors, you are just overwhelmed with opulence, and you feel like you're walking into a fairyland. It's just overwhelming. Personally, I've done the parlor. I've done that um, pretty much off and on for the past 28 years. I, a couple of years that I didn't work in that room, but that's my favorite room. I know every nook and cranny and I know every place I can hang a wire. So I think probably my favorite theme that we have ever created here was the year that we did Christmas around the world. We had Japan as our country. And so we did uh, big oriental fans and umbrellas and it was really just a breathtaking season for us. So that was probably one of my favorites in the reception room. If I had to talk about the stair hall, I think it would be the year that we did Christmas through the child's eyes. And above us here in the grand stair hall, we had gifts just kind of coming right out of the garlands. It was really quite beautiful. My passion for the mansion is that I've always loved history. I loved historic homes, architecture. And having something like this in our community, it's, it's, it's such a gift. And f if I'm able to donate or volunteer or to help in any way to promote the, the mansion, I just think it's, it's something that is my duty. With my companies, I own floral businesses and it's something that we love coming in. It's our fun time of the year to come in and to actually think out of the box and create these wonderful illusions that we do. Well, I think the importance of volunteering here is that the volunteers are the backbone of Victoria Mansion and what help keep it alive and keep it vibrant. If it weren't for the volunteers, there probably are a lot of things that would not happen here. They have a great staff that work very hard, but the volunteers are really the ones who come in and transform the house at Christmas time and make it just a spectacular place to visit. So uh, it's a privilege for us to be able to do it. It's a time for my family and some of our close friends who help decorate to be together and they've been doing it with us for years and so it has become a tradition for us to come and, and do the decorations here. I hear constantly from the community, people that come in and see the mansion, uh, that call me or send me messages and just say how beautiful it is and how much they've enjoyed coming, that it's become a yearly tradition for a lot of people that they come back year after year because it's different every year. It's never the same from one year to the next. The themes change, the decorations change. So for a lot of families, it has become a yearly tradition to uh, spend an afternoon at Victoria Mansion during the holiday season. This year, the mansion's not able to be open because of the pandemic. Um, we're erring on the side of caution and keeping the mansion closed. But what we want to do is we want to still let the community know that we're here, we're alive, and we're going forward. And so the designers that have worked on this in past years, we thought, wouldn't it be great if we could just put a little bit of light on the mansion again this year? Just so that the lights are on and people know that Victoria Mansion is alive and well and that Christmas continues in, in maybe a little different form this year than in the past. And next year we're going to be back bigger and better and stronger and hopefully they'll be able to come inside and see what this mansion actually has to offer our community.